All right. Meantime in Manitoba, the province has broken another hospitalization record with 631 people currently hospitalized for COVID-19. That's up nearly 400 from just two weeks ago. Extraordinary. As hospital beds get taken up by COVID patients, Manitoba is striking a deal to send some of their surgery patients to the U.S. to help clear the surgery backlog. The province plans to send about, get this, 300 spinal surgery patients to Fargo, North Dakota. They will send those who waited over a year for surgery, and the province will also pay for the surgeries. So will this set a trend for other provinces? Is this an indictment of Manitoba's hospital capacity or their COVID strategy? Let's ask the uh, NDP leader there, the official opposition, Wab Canoe, joins us. Uh, good to have you back on the program. What's your reaction to the province sending spinal surgery patients to North Dakota? Well, for months, Manitobans have been complaining about hallway medicine, the fact that there are people sick with COVID in these hospitals across Manitoba that are bursting at the seams. But now we're seeing it get even a step worse than hallway medicine. Now we've got highway medicine. We've got Manitobans who are being sent to North Dakota because there is just not the ability to provide health care that they need right here in the province that they call home. And to me, this is the latest in a series of failures on the healthcare front from our provincial government. Manitobans who live here, who pay taxes here, seemingly can no longer trust that we're going to have universal, publicly accessible health care here in the province that they call home. Okay, but what's the solution, Wab Kanu? If, if, if so systems all over the country are getting overwhelmed, um, what should they do? There are, there are surgeries across the country that are being delayed. Maybe Manitoba saying we can't delay anymore. We'll pay for them over the, you know, the border. We've got good neighbors in North Dakota. Remember, they were helping vaccinate cross-border truckers earlier on. What's the problem with this? Better a delay, better that than a delay, which, frankly, other provinces are experiencing. Well, I think the first thing to keep in mind is that Manitoba is actually seeing worse outcomes during this Omicron wave than other provinces. We have a much higher hospitalization rate. That's probably in part due to the failure of the provincial government uh, to take action against this uh, wave earlier. But our health care system was also weakened by years of PC government cuts here in the province. So if you look at our province relative to the one next door to the west, Saskatchewan, the COVID outcomes are actually worse for the Manitobans on a per capita basis. It shows you that the healthcare approach that this government has taken has failed Manitobans. Mm. So again, this idea of highway medicine, sending people to the United States, sending people to North Dakota, is an admission of failure on the part of this government. Manitobans don't want to wait any longer to get the surgeries that they need. I understand that that is a, a, a feeling of frustration that people have, but hopefully this crisis doesn't make us lose sight of the fact that our government has fallen down on one of the most fundamental Canadian values of being able to provide universal access to health care where we live. Well, if there's any ever been a sign in this pandemic of, of health care systems not able to meet the capacity for lots of reasons, it's this. Hundreds of Manitobans literally going cross-border surgically shopping on the dime of the government there. Uh, Manitoba NDP leader, Wab Canoe, sir, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.